Hello dear children, welcome back to another episode of a JE Advanced Blast from the Past where we are discussing previous year questions from JE Advanced. So in the last video we discussed a question from complex numbers. So here I have taken another question uh, which was repeated in 2019 where the concept used is very much similar but towards the end we will have to make some minor uh, adjustments but the, the adjustment is also important so we will try and solve this new question okay so the question says let omega not equal to 1 be a cube root of unity then find the minimum of the set so the set contains values of the square of modulus of a complex number a plus b omega plus c omega square and the condition given here is a, b, c are distinct non-zero integers. Okay, so let us proceed in a similar way that we have proceeded before. And for the benefit of the viewers who, have, who are seeing this video for the first time. So let me redo the steps quickly. So I have to find out modulus square, right? Mod set square. To find out mod set square, I can take z into set conjugate which is equal to a plus b omega plus c omega square into a plus b omega plus c omega square the whole conjugate. So what is this? This is equal to a plus b omega plus c omega square into individual conjugates right. So a conjugate is a itself then we have b omega conjugate plus b omega conjugate plus c omega square conjugate right but we know that omega and omega square are the conjugates of each other right so let us apply that what do we get we get a plus b omega plus c omega square into a plus b omega square instead of omega conjugate and c omega instead of omega square conjugate. So now let us expand this by multiplying. We will get a square plus b square plus c square. Then we will have terms in a, b, b, c, c, a. They will have coefficients a, b into we have omega plus omega square same with b, c right and same with ca okay but we know 1 plus omega plus omega square equal to 0 so omega plus omega square will be equal to minus 1 so this will become a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus ca right this is nothing but the difference of squares. So, this can be converted into difference of squares a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square. So, up to this point, whatever we have done, we have done it very in a very similar fashion to what we have done in the previous question. Okay. So, now this expression has to be minimized. We have to minimize this expression half of a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square where a, b, c are all distinct integers, right. So to minimize each of these squares, right, since they are distinct integers, the difference is going to be at least 1, right. So one way we can do this is by choosing, now without loss of generality I can assume a less than b less than c. So, what I can do is, I can choose the difference between a and b to be 1 and b and c to be 1. So, this is the maximum, no, this is the best possible scenario, right? This is the maximum that we can do. So, when we do that, automatically c minus a is going to be 2. There is no other choice. c minus a is going to be 2. So, this is the best possible case in which we can minimize the expression. So, this will come out to be 
let's say half of I can say a minus b is equal to a minus b whole square is equal to 1 plus b minus c whole square will also be 1 and c minus a whole square will have to be 4. So this will give the answer 3. Right? So as you can see both the questions are very similar but towards the end what we applied for the property of integers you know we have applied a slightly different method in the previous question but here we have to consider the fact that the integers are distinct non-zero and uh, uh, distinct and non-zero in the previous question it was not all equal so two of them could be equal so that is a difference here okay so so this simply you know, reiterates what I said before that concepts can be repeated ideas like this you know a simple idea like uh, finding the minimum ex minimum value of an expression involving integers uh, can be repeated again and again maybe not the complex part of it but the idea of integers and their uh, minimum value can be repeated so uh, so that's it for now for more such content please follow our channel thank you